Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Flight of the Amazon Queen. When last we left off, I found the music again, albeit temporarily. Something about the temple ruins the playlist of the game, and a few events in the temple can bring the music back for a time, but I fully expect the music to stop at some point and not play again. At least now I know how to get the music back. But either way, when last we left off, we opened up a big crypt with an equally big stick and we lost the big stick in the process, so I hope the item we find in here was worth our efforts. Let's look in the crypt, shall we? Holy cow! It's some sort of ceremonial death mask. This thing could be worth a fortune. No one will mind if I take it. Nobody alive will mind, King. I'm sure the people that originally put that in there have a few words to say to you. Well, they would if they were alive. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Its mirror surface is all tarnished. The key word there is a mirrored surface. We could use that to deal with the lasers. I've seen enough movies, I know how that works. But it is tarnished and useless at the moment. So we're gonna have to use the mummy wrappings on that mask. And there goes the music. At least I know how to get it back. Hopefully we'll be able to polish this up so it's good as new. Excellent. I think that worked. It's incredibly smooth and reflective. We'll definitely be able to use that. And I'm going to show you how to get the music back. It's a bit of a detour, but not as far as it would be if we were further in the temple. We're going to go this way and to the left, and then we're going to head right in the main room. Down to where that prince was resting. And then we're going to fall down the hole, and the music will come back as we thud to the ground. It's a good thing that Joe survives that fall every single time, otherwise the game would be over very quickly. Off you go, Joe! Seek the greatest treasure of them all, the game's soundtrack. Because the game is eerily odd without the music. A game that doesn't have music from the very beginning has the atmosphere of silence built into it, whereas this one has had quite lively music. Down you go! And there is a piece of music. I don't know how long it's going to last, Phew. but we'll have it here for as long as we can. This is not the way we want to go, I think. So we're just going to head this way and use the lever. Use the lever with the use command, Kiko. Don't just click it. Up we go! And we're back here. We don't want to go to the middle, and we don't want to go to the right. We want to go left. Whoa! What a trip! Because we have a way to progress by using this death mask. We need to eventually find how to get to Ian. We're going to head this way. And once we get to the next screen, we're going to head this way. No white snake to block us this time, eh? We haven't been in that room yet. We'll go there at some point. For now, we'll just go the way that we know we can make progress. Then again, there might be ways to make progress that way. I'll figure it out in time. There's no way to get stuck in an unwinnable situation in the game, so I'm free to explore to my heart's content. Down we go here. And we should reach, after we go past this room, the room with the lasers. And we'll be able to use the mask to get rid of them. Hopefully we won't lose the mask in the process, because it looks quite valuable. Alright, here we are. When we get command again, we're going to use the mask on those lasers. Let's hope this works, eh? Whoa! I hope I don't have to pay for that. I'm pretty sure you don't. Let's move on, shall we? We're now down here. Wonder where this door leads. This door might lead to a place we've already been to, or it might not. Ah, we're here now. And we could get that gem, if only we can reach. Let's have a look at all this treasure first. This must be worth a fortune, if only I had a wheelbarrow. Unfortunately you don't, but you do have unlimited pockets. Grab some of it. It's too big to carry. I'll leave it here. Oh, 
But promise you'll come back, Joe. Okay, you're not going to promise, but I imagine you will. We want to grab that gem, so let's have a look at it. This would make a great gift for Princess Azura. It would make a better solution to a puzzle, though. Let's see if we can pick that up. I can't quite reach it. Maybe we can pick it up with something? Not with the mummy wrappings, or the scissors. But I have an idea now that I've seen the tree sap. We could stick the tree sap onto something and use that to grab the gem. Let's try the pick first. That'd just make a sticky mess. Fair enough. Let us use the other item that has become surprisingly useful in Miss Temple. And that is the baseball bat. Now we have a sticky baseball bat. I hope this stuff will come off my bat. I'm sure it will. Let's use this on the gem. Excellent. We now have it. This would make a great gift for Princess Azura. Fantastic. And it seems like opening the crypt is what stops the music. So, now that we've done that bit, the music is here to stay. Excellent. Over here we go now. We don't have to do anything else down there. We do need to use these though, and we need to check out that other door that I haven't looked in yet. All exploration! We will head down here. I don't think down here was a... Uh... Oh yes, down here was where we had to use these gems. So we'll just go and do that, shall we? And navigate further into this complex. We will use the green jewel on the eye, and then the blue jewel on the eye. It fits! It does indeed. It's almost like it was made for that purpose, Joe. Wow, secret passages. I wonder where they lead. And he's so happy about the fact that you found them. Let's move on, shall we? This way, I think. Ah, we're here now at the beams of light. Let's have a look at them. Judging by the blood and bones nearby, I'd say these beams of light probably activate some sort of death trap. Probably. Let's try and walk through them. I have a bad feeling about these light beams. I'll stay this side of them. That is very sensible. Can we use the death mask? We could use them to deflect the beams away. It looks better on dead things. Fair enough. We can't get past here right now. So we'll just go back this way and head down the other door. It is sort of... I've just realized it's telling us to do that. There is a pointy hand here saying, go this way. And so this way, we'll go. And this leads to here. And I think we have something that can be used here. Let's have a look at that statue first. Looks like some sort of stone lizard. There's a small hole in its chest. I know what I'm going to put in. Slowly, all of the things we've been collecting are being used. Let's see what happens now. It doesn't fit. Oh. We definitely want to do something. Maybe we just want to move it? It's too heavy to budge. All right, so there is a statue, and there's something we're missing here, so I'm going to come back another time, once we have the other part. But at least now we can head this way quite safely. And so we'll just go to the one room that I haven't been to yet, which is over here, in this direction. Maybe we'll find Ian. We haven't actually found him yet. Likely it's in that one door that I keep saying I'll check. The last place we look will be the place where we find the one other person alive in here. I mean, we have found other people to talk to, but they're either weird holograms or they're dead. Joe's been talking to a lot of dead people recently. Over here, to the exit. It is a long walk to travel around this temple. Joe's certainly getting a lot of exercise. We'll head back up here, and through this door that we haven't yet been through. There's a lot of light coming from there. Ah, it's this place. We saw this a little bit when we were in there. Let's explore around here. There might be things that we can grab. It's here. We found him. Hello, Ian. Let's have a conversation. I finally made it. 
About time. I'd almost given up hope. Let's ask him some questions. Like, what's in the pit? I imagine it's fiery doom. Just out of curiosity, uh, what's in the pit? I'll tell you what. Get me down from here and we can swap places. Then you can see for yourself. I don't think I'm going to take you up on that offer. Where did you find the skull? It must have been hidden pretty good. You bet it was. Whoever built this temple certainly knew their craft. I had to use my superior intellect to find it. So, where did you find it? Um... It was hidden in a secret room, resting on a stone pedestal. I had to solve a complex puzzle to pick it up without setting off any death traps. What sort of puzzle? Uh, a complicated one. It involved math. Look, you wouldn't understand, so let's drop it, okay? I get the feeling that you're lying. Just a little. Maybe you just found the thing on the floor. But I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Excellent. What is it? These are all terrible ideas. But let's try all of them. Squeeze through the bars and jump over the pit. I'll catch you. You've got to be kidding. There's no way I'd make the pit. And there is no way that you would catch me. Fair enough. We're going to talk to you again, and we're going to broach the other ideas to you. They're just as terrible as the first one. Excuse me? Yes? I've got a great idea! I've got another great idea! I can't wait to hear this one. Okay, this is it. It's just as bad as the other ones. Maybe if you rock the cage, it'll break free. Yeah, right. And I'd fall into the pit below. That is a stupid idea. You are right. That idea is rather stupid. Excuse me? Yes? I have another idea! I've got an idea. Excellent! What is it? This is the idea you're definitely not going to agree to. Throw me the crystal skull and I'll go get help. Hey, that's a great idea. Then when you've gone, I can sit here playing I Spy until I rot. Nice try, King. But I'm not as stupid as you look. Hey! King's hat is awesome. It looks awesome on him. We're going to have to look around and find a way to solve this. There's a lever here. We could look at that. It might help. It's on. Why don't we use it? Nothing happened. Hmm. We need to figure out how this works. Maybe there's another switch that I haven't noticed. There's nothing here, so maybe we should talk to Ian. Excuse me? Yes? We have another great idea. I've got another great idea. I can't wait to hear this one. Okay, this is it. Ah, we have another one. The, uh, if you untie the rope, that might work. I'd like you to untie the rope tethering the cage. Don't be ridiculous. If I untie the rope, I fall into the pit. Not the rope that the cage is hanging from, the rope at your feet. Ah, of course. I knew that. There. Great stuff. Now I can set you free. And now, if we use this, hopefully it will free Ian. And then we'll have the Crystal Skull. Surely he has it. It worked. You're free. Excellent. You have done well. But I'm afraid this is where we part company. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Don't argue with me, King, or I will have to shoot you. But I saved your life. And I am returning the favor. If I happen across you again, I may not be so kind. So don't follow me. What a creep. I get the feeling we'll be seeing him again. And he may not be alive when we see him. He doesn't seem like he's very good at solving puzzles. The further back I stay from the pit, the better. Fair enough. We're going to explore a little more. Maybe there's a way over here that we haven't been through yet. This leads to here. I did not know that that was a route that you could go. 
that would have saved me a lot of time. Now we want to go this way. There's definitely something we need to do over here. It's the last place where we have a puzzle we need to solve. And let's just go and have a look. Oh, it's not this way. My mistake, it's the other way. The problem is, is we have a bit of stone here and we need another bit of stone from somewhere. I get the feeling that this isn't complete. Let's have another look at it. This looks like part of a stone carving. We definitely need another fragment of it, and I have not noticed it somewhere. Because I think that needs to be used in the main central room, which the helpful statue was pointing us to. And yet, I don't have what I need. I've clearly missed something along the way. We'll just have a little look around and uh, see if I've missed something this way. What on earth was that? I think Ian may have made a terrible decision. He didn't pay attention to the pointy arrow and has walked into a death trap. I think we figured out what the uh, trap was. We're gonna have to go back to that room. Let's go over there, shall we? It's gonna be a little bit of a trek, but we can make it. We'll go this way and head over to that pulverized body. Remember when I said that the next time we'd see him, he'd be dead? I didn't expect him to only last that long. So we're just gonna head up and around. If memory serves, we have to go and fall down that hole to reach him. A little bit of backtracking, but hey, maybe we'll find that item that he was guarding so jealously. I highly doubt it's the Crystal Skull. There's still plenty of puzzle for us to solve. I also didn't go into that room back there. But we might as well go and have a look at his body, just in case. I still doubt that he has it. And then he has it, and I'm like, well, you actually did have the item that I need. Still probably not likely. Up the stairs, Joe. Got to get all of your exercise in for the day. And you're getting a lot of exercise by walking around Miss Temple, that's for sure. Now got back to here, and we're going to go into here. As far as I know, you can't double click to very quickly go somewhere, which is a shame, because that would save a bit of time while you're walking around. Laser pointer click adventure games would add that feature in. But for now, we're going to walk over to that coffin and fall down the hole behind it, and get to where Ian is. I don't think we're going to be able to save him though, he's pretty much dead. One more room, and then we'll nearly be there. I just hope there's something on his body that makes this exploration worth it. And over we go to the hole in the ground. By now I think he really should be ready for this drop, but every time he falls, it's like he's never fallen down before. Down you go! And thud. Phew. We're going to go and find Ian. Why did Ian even go down there? I've no idea. I mean, we've already taken the item that was important. And we need to go this way. And there! Holy cow! It's Ian! He may have been an arrogant double-crossed piece of scum, but he didn't deserve to end up like this. No, he didn't. Let's look at him, shall we? That lion cheat. He didn't have the crystal skull at all. The only thing I found was a strange piece of rock. Everything uh, else was flattened. I knew it. I knew that he had the thing that we needed. Let's use these two bits together. I need something to stick them together. We have something to stick them together. Where is our tree sap? Okay, we don't have any tree sap right now, but we could go back and get some tree sap. We're in exactly the right area to go and grab some. And so, we head to get some tree sap and stick this rock thing together. There we go, we'll just grab some. And we'll use this on the main body of the stone thing first, I think. Where is it? Of course I scrolled the wrong way to get to it. There we go. And if we go this way, we could use this on that. <laughs> Excellent. It's not much of a fit, 
because it's being stuck together with tree sap, but it's close enough. It's shaped like a stone lizard. And we've seen something like that before. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to go back to there and use that on that statue in the central room. And hopefully, we'll venture deeper into this temple and find the actual crystal skull. Poor Ian, if you'd actually have stuck with Joe, you might have survived. But no, you decided to try and escape alone, and you got killed. Poor Ian. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.